Hey guys, what's happening? So, this is what remains of my crypto home mining operation. I'm still crypto mining, just not here. Um, but when I had first started mining, um, yeah, I was originally mining uh, RX 580 cards, and they didn't draw a lot of power from, from the PCI bus. Um, but when I switched over to like the 5700 XTs a long time ago, um, it was I was running these things off the SATA power. Uh, I did actually make a custom uh, setup there for that thing. But, um, I want to fix this power supply, so there's nothing actually wrong with this power supply, just like connectors with the burn, I'll show you that. So I'm going to plug it. Uh, so I'm probably going to use it for something else, but uh, i got to dis disassemble the stuff. I kind of need the room back, because it's just sitting here, it's not being not being used, so. Uh, I'm going to disassemble this, and i probably end up using the, the 2020 rail for like a 3D printer project or something. Um, Hypercube or something. So, uh, I'm going to depopulate all my custom 3D printed stuff, mounts, um, take this down and uh, move it over. So, I've got a CNC machine and a laser cutter that's going to go right here. Alright, so here are the uh, burn connectors. So, typically where you see it melted right there, so that would be the uh, 12 volt plus. And I was just basically drawing too much current through it, and that's actually what melted the wire. So, what's funny is that I, I couldn't tell at first, you know, like I said, this, this thing was running for, for a long time. and. Finally, the uh, GPUs would start shutting off randomly, and, uh, and the wire was just like totally smoked. So pretty dangerous. Um, yeah, this is years ago. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take it apart. It's gonna suck. I have to take the uh, the anti-tamper proof sticker off, but this thing is probably four years old by now. So um, yeah, it's a Corsair HX 1200. So this is definitely not a cheap power supply. Um, yeah, I think I just looked and they were like new, they were like probably like 275 bucks. Alright, so yeah, I'd like to fix those. I'm going to take this thing apart and uh, we'll, we'll look at it here. I right, get the four screws off. This should just come out of like that. And I'm sure there's going to be a fan connector there. And there it is. So let's take a look at this thing. You can obviously tell this is a very well constructed power supply. <laughs> yeah, not like your little Chibo. Sorry, I'm just, just finished 3D print. All right, so I can turn that off so it's not so noisy in here. All right. Okay. All right, so I need to get to the back of this connector, back of this board, um, which is going to be quite a headache. Or can I get to it from the front? Here and here. Mm. All right, so take a look at the board, though. Well, besides that, you have some pretty large filter caps. Um, yeah, I mean, transformers, yeah, this is, uh, definitely not a cheapo power supply. Um, alright, so how am I going to get to those things? I got this one, and this, what, oh man, it's at the very bottom. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Alright, so that's going to be quite the job to get this whole thing apart. I mean, so I'm going to have to take this whole board off, and this these boards are actually soldered onto the PCB, these uh, riser cards, the riser boards. Yeah, I mean, I can't just pop the riser card out, right? I have to desolder the riser card. So I have to desolder this riser card behind it. Um, so that might take a while. I mean, I don't know if I want to even do that. So what I might do is apply some heat right here. Um, you know, I'm uh, probably not going to use my heat thing right there. My... Uh, you know, SMD rework station. Probably just gonna use my, my lower, like, shrink wrap guns. Um, just because I don't want to melt this connector here next to it, I'm gonna heat this connector up and I'm hoping I can just grab a pair of, like, uh, needle nose and uh, grab it and see if I can pull it up. You know, grab it from, like, right here and see if I can just, you know, loosen up. Uh, what I'll do is I'll heat this wire up and make the plastic soft and I hopefully I can just pull the connector up and maybe just slide a new connector down onto it. I'm trying to focus it more over here. Clean that pin up. You can see the pin's a little burnt. I mean, I know the pin still works. 
just gonna clean it up with a little file, like a little, just kind of scrape it. I'll get a, like a little, uh, even just like a small screwdriver or something. You know? Alcohol too. All right, so I want to get that new connector on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the existing connector out. Uh, pull the pins out, heat this up, pull the pins out in the back, and just... I'm going to thoroughly test the power supply when I'm done. Alright, there it is. So, it's not perfect, but... Um... You know, but it's usable again, so... Alright, cool.